evening, everyone. I'm Holland Gerald. I'm Natalie Ford. And I'm Shannon Brewer, and this is our Calculus Project Place. Uh, we were given four scenarios to choose from. We decided to choose scenario two. Um, as you all, I don't know if you all know, but Pilot is turfing from end zone to end zone. Not the actual end zone, but inside the end zones for our field, our football field. And so we were provided the opportunity to figure out how much it would be from the end zone to the back of the track on both sides. Our questions that we need to answer with this project is how much turf it is to let cost, the square footage of turf needed, the amount of time to produce the turfing for our field, and how much the labor would cost. And to do this, we had to find the area, as you can see right here, from the end zone back on both sides. Um, but the shapes are irregular, so we had to use a trapezoidal rule, which is based off of the area of the trapezoid which is half of the height times both bases added together. And that's how we got our uh, trapezoid. So we used the Google Earth in order to get our data for our research. And we started with the end zone closest to the school. And our first step was to measure the length of the end zone, which was about 200 feet. And so we made 20 trapezoids in intervals of 10 feet. And once we got our data for each um, length of the trapezoids, we plugged it into the formula and got 12,728 square feet. Then since the track cut into the end zone, and it was also in a regular shape, we did the same thing and split this up into eight intervals and used the same um, method and got 2,346 square feet. So in order to figure out the entire area of the end zone without the track, we um, subtracted the area that we got for the track from our total area, and it was 10,381 square feet. We also did the end zone facing the baseball field. Um, its length was also 200, and we split it up into um, 10 different trapezoids <coughs> and plugged it into our formula. It had 12,456. But inside of the end zone is two irregular concrete uh, <coughs> objects for track and field. And so we um, had to find the area for that as well, using the trapezoidal rule as well. Okay, so we the, on the previous picture, the item to the left is shaped more like a pentagon. So we did the trapezoidal rule, and the length was 21, uh, about 22 feet. We broke it up into seven trapezoids with the width being three feet. And we got 412 square feet for there. With this object being sort of irregularly shaped, we kind of made the uh, one of the sides a straight line. And it was 72 feet and we broke it up into six trapezoids with the width being 12 feet each. And we got 1,751 square feet. Uh, we added the two irregular shapes um, their areas got 2,163 2 square feet and subtracted that from the total area and got 10,292 square feet. Um, together, we had to add both areas together and we got the, a total of 20,673 square feet. In order to calculate the cost, we had to uh, contact companies and uh, find their estimates on what the turf would, uh, turfing uh, would uh, uh, cost us. Uh, we uh, contacted Playwright Sports um, and Chad answered and he said that he had uh, listened to several of us asking the same question <laughs> and he was willing to talk to us anyway. Um, he told us that uh, an estimated $8 per square foot is what it would cost and that also includes the installation, includes the manual labor to remove the grass and the dirt and he gave us an estimated three months for installation. Um, then I contacted the sports facility and they uh, gave us a little less information, but they said that um, it would be an estimated $1.50 per square foot. It did not include the installation, it did not include um, removing the grass or the dirt, and no, no time estimation was given. Um, how much would it cost in total? Um, if play 
Bayright was to uh, turf our field, it would cost an estimated $165,000, um, $388, and that includes installation. Um, if sports facilities are being placed to uh, turf our field, it would cost approximately $31,010, and this does not include installation or the cost of labor. Are there any questions? How could you make your estimate of your area more accurate? Because the group before you, there was a little bit of difference in, in the estimate of the area. So how could you make it more accurate using the trapezoidal rule? You could add more trapezoids in order to make it more accurate. And to do that, what effect would that have on the trapezoid? Would, would you make them bigger, make them smaller? What do you do with that? The width of each trapezoid would be smaller. Good answers. Any more questions? <clears throat> Any questions? Thank you all. Well done. Good job.